Hey, what is up guys? This is Pathe back with another video and this time I am going to be discussing whether you can run a DDR3 and a DDR3L uh, DIMM together. Well, not technically these two, this is so DIMM and this is a regular DIMM, but you get the point. So let's start with it. So DDR3 platform has been around for quite a few years to be exactly DDR3 modules were released in, uh, sorry, they were announced in 2005, but products in the form of motherboard came around in June 2007 based on Intel's P35 Beer Lake chipset. Yeah, Beer Lake, not Cabby Lake. So, the, at that time, these DIMMs went up to 1600 MHz. So, what was the uh, really difference and what was the need to update from DDR2? Well, it's simply the power consumption because uh, the DDR2 uh, DIMMs ran on uh, 1.8 to 1.9 volts but the DDR3 runs on the considerably low, uh, lower voltage which is 1.5 volts. But nowadays in market there has been a new standard which is the DDR3L which is this sodium DIMM I am right uh, having with me. So this uh, platform runs on 1.35 volts, which is also lower than the 1.5 volts. So thus making it more power efficient, uh, you know, and this is released with the new Intel's Skylake uh, chipset. So Skylake is compatible with DDR3L, but uh, also compatible with DDR4 DIMMs. But, you know, I have a question, you know, wondering in my mind that can you run you know DDR3 and DDR3L DIMMs together? Well the answer to the question is simply a big no. No you can't run these together but I was still in curiosity so I called up my buddy uh, from Kingston India Weber and you know I uh, you know wanted to shed uh, more light on this topic so he did he provided me more light on this topic well he explained to me simply that you know uh, most of the cases, you know, the uh, RAM slots uh, are, you know, provided, you know, common uh, voltage or their power, uh, you know, connectors are common. So, if you are going to install one DDR3 L uh, DIMM and a DDR3, uh, you know, DIMM, so, you know, s uh, supplying two voltage or, you know, they would be requiring two different voltages, you know, can bring some damage. But, you know, still I was curious, uh, you know, after this conversation also. So I wanted to, you know, have a go at it. I thought, you know, uh, you know, these days the systems are much, much efficient, you know. So they would be, you know, comprehensive, you know, in somewhat way. But, you know, I tried it, uh, you know, in a way which did some damage. But, you know, let, uh, you know, let us hear the story. So I bought a new laptop uh, for me. So which was having a, DD, a DDR3L RAM module in it. So it was running on i5 uh, Skylake chipset, the mobility one. So, you know, I was wondering around if I can upgrade the RAM in it. And yes, successfully it did had an extra slot for me. So I immediately grabbed up my Corsair Vengeance. Let me grab it up. This was from my old laptop, which I was using. So, you know, this was, uh, this, uh, you know, the similar module is, uh, uh, this is the module, you know, similar one came with my HP one laptop. And you know, this is the model I had lying around, but one of them was low voltage module and one of them was regular voltage module. But anyway, I thought, you know, upgrading to 16 GB RAM would be, you know, very, very useful, you know, from 8 GB to 16 GB, it's just the double amount. So I did, I opened up my whole laptop and, you know, upgraded the RAM. So, uh, first of all, when I booted it up in CPU, -Z, I just, you know, checked CPU Z. So it was showing both of the RAM sticks and I thought, yeah. I have successfully upgraded it but you know as the days went by I didn't notice any sufficient you know performance gain in my laptop so I again checked up you know CPU Z and this time the DDR3 RAM vanished it was not showing up but the DDR3 L was showing up so immediately I expected something had gone wrong then I booted up in BIOS because I thought you know might be CPU Z must be malfunctioning but no in the BIOS also, it was showing just 8 GB. And now, this was the moment where I got tensed up. I thought, oh my god, Weber was right. It has did some damage. 
either my RAM module was fried up or my motherboard which is even a severe uh, you know more severe condition because my laptop was brand new it didn't even completed a week and I didn't know whether I would be getting warranty for this or not so I immediately you know looked over all of my work and you know I opened up my laptop and got this RAM module out and upon further investigation uh, you know I was very very you know delighted to know that only the RAM module was fried up because you know this RAM module is having lifetime warranty but not my motherboard because you know guys buying a new laptop you know you don't expect anything to go wrong but you know I did forcibly to you know see my experience uh, you know after clearly ignoring instructions from someone who knows all of these things better than me so now you must have uh, you know understood that simply you know running these ram six together uh, you know will simply bring damage this time it was my ram module and you uh, you know in your case it uh, you know it could be your motherboard or even greater your whole hardware setup your processor your hard disk you know hard disk would not be uh, infected but definitely the processor and the motherboard you know would get caught if you are going to mix these two ram together so that's it for this video hope you like this video hit the like button if you like this video hit the dislike button you know if you thought it sucked and leave a comment below if you have any more uh, you know questions about this topic i bet you know about this topic uh, now you are cleared that yes you cannot cannot run a low voltage and a normal voltage dim together and please subscribe to my channel share this video with your family and friends and stay awesome see you next time